If you still think that creative photography is something complicated and that it requires expensive gear, I can say you are partially right. Sometimes photography can get difficult, but in this video I will show you a couple of easy and creative photo ideas that you can do even at home in mere minutes. You don't have to rent a studio or a motorbike, everything will be done with stuff that is wildly accessible. And like this video and subscribe to the channel, so without further ado, let's begin. Details in motion. The first thing I would like to draw attention to is the details in motion. What does it mean? This is when we should motion in detail, not funny. Jokes aside, to do details in motion, give your model a knife and a fruit. Lemon, orange, grapefruit, doesn't matter, but the fruit must be cut in half. Then aim the camera at the knife, set a high shutter speed, and throw the halves of a fruit at each other. If you do everything right, you will get an impressive looking photo that gives a full impression of a knife cut in fruits. Details in motion. If you want something simpler, try your luck with ice cubes. Just drop them in water while shooting. These photos will not look that dynamic but still very admirable. Personally, I think dynamic photos look really good when done correctly. Bathroom. The reference for the second idea I saw on Pinterest. Unfortunately, I don't have a shower cabin that's needed for this shot, but you probably can do it. And don't worry, everything will look great and creative. Ask the model to stand in the shower and close the glass partition. The model's face should be as close to the glass as possible. Using a spray gun, make the glass wet and covered in small drops of water. Then pour one drop right near the model's eye. This way it will look like the tear from the model's eye. Yes, yes, the model in the shot will most likely be blurred because of the lens aperture. The idea will stay in the shot. If you don't have a shower cabin like me, don't worry, next ideas you definitely can do. Next one, subject photography. No, not portraits. If you need to take a picture of some item, for example a product for an online store, or you are just practicing subject photography, use your TV or monitor for creating interesting backgrounds. Monitor is by far the best background replacement for those who don't have all the gear. Plus, if you select the right background image, the results may surprise you. Take a look at this promo photo I took. Of course, you will not see it on the banners, but it looks pretty good in my personal opinion. Here, everything also depends on your imagination. With regular objects, you can always edit out the background and post process Processing, so this trick will work best with transparent objects like like glass. Well, if we talk more about post-processing and editing, I cannot help but say that I have seen a ton of creatively edited photos on the internet. For example, the model is shot against a still uniform background and the part of the head is erased, creating the effect of a melted candle and wax. Strange effect, but it's really easy to do. First, take a photo of a person on a uniform background. If you don't have such a photo, you can easily replace the background. For this, I will use the PhotoWorks app, go to Tools, Background Replacement, then just follow the instructions. Mark up the subject with a green brush and background with a red one. Next, refine the edges, crack the flaws and voila, ready! Now take a stamp tool and make a few small strokes with a slight movement of the brush tool. Yeah, I'm not an artist, so my brush work turned out kinda sloppy. I'm sure that if I practice more, I will be able to make the photos look really similar. And by the way, PhotoWorks can not only replace the background, the functionality of this app is amazing. The app offers many ready-made presets and creative filters. The best thing is that this app doesn't clutter your computer during the installation, unlike other well-known programs. Therefore, click the link in the description and install PhotoWorks. And after a 5-day trial period, you will have the opportunity to purchase the full version at a 60% discount. Mirror in nature. Now let's talk a little about photos you can make outside. Yes, not everything can be done at home. Sometimes you, you have to go out. If you want to achieve creative shots without the unnecessary expenses and efforts, you can take your, your grandma's mirror. Just be careful not to break it, okay? Just try to cover a part of the model's body with the mirror. Often such pictures look interesting just because we are not used to seeing a mirror 
on the streets. And covering the body with a mirror is not the only option. You can also play with contrasts by placing a small mirror under the sand on the beach and taking a picture against the sky, for example. Trust me, the photo will look dope. There are many scenarios to use the mirror, so go out and just just experiment. Custom light. And finally, let's talk not so much about the photo idea, but about the custom equipment. Nowadays, there are an infinite number of different cameras, flashes, and light sources on the market, but I just stumbled upon this life hack. You can take an iPhone or any other smartphone, a cardboard cup, cut a hole in the bottom and attach to it a piece of paper with a shape cutout. A star, a heart, a dollar sign, anything you want. Then, when you turn on the flash, you get a custom light pattern. If you want colored light but you don't have RGB lights or filters, you can simply use a piece of uh, colored office. Folder. Colored semi-transparent plastic will give you a nice color on a budget. And with colored light, you can make all your creative ideas a reality and possibly even more. Well, that's all for today. If you know more creative ideas for photos, be sure to write them in the comments below. Also, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new interesting videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.